Hey everyone, hope you guys are all doing well. In this video I will be showing you guys how to inject N64 games using the Wii U's virtual console. I feel like I do this a lot, but I do want to apologize for the lack of uploads lately. I've been pretty busy IRL, finished a pretty busy semester. I also got a brand new PC. This thing is super cool. I love this new PC. It's so fast, it's so responsive. The CPU in here is a beast. It's great. Very needed upgrade after using that crappy Dell pre-built. Also, I've just in general felt a little burned out from content creation on Twitch and YouTube. It's mostly because this time of year, Twitch really does start to kind of, you know, die down and just in general, I haven't had as much chat interaction as I usually do. YouTube takes a lot of time, as I've said earlier. But a nice thing about this new PC is that it will be able to render things so much faster and Sony Vegas is so much smoother on this, so that's great. Also, at the time of recording this, I'm at 169 subs and I just wanted to mention that. That's pretty nice. Alright, anyways, enough off-topic discussion. This has been a very long-awaited guide. I've had so many comments of people being like, hey, please make this video, and I'm like, I'll get around to it. In order to get started, you're going to want to have Ultimate Wii U Virtual Console Injector installed on your PC. I have made a video on this on how to set it up. I will make sure to leave that down in the description. I have also covered pretty much every console before this, all the handheld consoles I did. So make sure to check that out. The playlist is on my channel. Aside from Ultimate Wii U Virtual Console Injector on your PC, you're also going to need custom firmware on your Wii U, WAP Installer GX2, and Tiramisu, which is the most up-to-date custom firmware that you can get on your Wii U. Information regarding all of these topics can be found on Wii U.Guide, so I highly recommend checking that out. Other than that, you're just going to want to open up Ultimate Wii U Virtual Console Injector on your PC. Then you're going to see the start screen. You're going to want to click on the N64 tab right here and the first thing that you're going to see is a base ROM so N64 games are really really notorious for giving issues that's another reason I was kind of holding off on making this video I will try to leave a compatibility list in the description but honestly if a game isn't working for you you're just gonna have to keep on mixing and matching these until something works out for you. This is mainly due to the fact that the emulator that Nintendo kind of programmed to handle these games, there weren't that many games ever released on the Wii U eShop, so that's mainly one of the reasons that this is the case. I'm pretty sure all the first party games should work, but I've also gotten a lot of comments about this. Many fan-made games will not work, most likely, like Luigi's Mansion mod or things like that. Those will probably not work, or Majora's Mask N64, those will probably not work. I took a look at the compatibility list and they don't seem to be working, but again, give them a shot, let me know in the comments. ROM hacks might work, it depends on whether it is a brand new game that someone created or fresh so you're going to want to select a base. Today I'm going to be injecting Banjo-Kazooie, so I think the most appropriate base to use to, for today's video is going to be Donkey Kong 64. Now over here you can see that the title key is missing. You're going to need to grab the title key from titlekeys.ovh. This is copyrighted content, so I won't be going too much on how to do this. Alright, so once the title key has been confirmed, you can close this out and then you can click the download button. Now that the base is downloaded, you can actually get started with configuring your inject. Now the first thing is, and I feel like this is actually something that was kind of controversial that Nintendo did, was that on Wii U N64 games, there is a slight dark filter on top of it. I don't really know how else to describe it. Personally, it doesn't bother me too much, but... If that's something that bothered you, this is actually something you can disable. And you can also enable widescreen. However, I don't really like widescreen for N64 or GameCube games, so I'm just going to keep that off. But you're free to mess around and try and use those settings. But I'm just going to leave them as the defaults. After that, you're going to want to select your ROM. Now, once you select your ROM, if it's a pretty popular Nintendo game, you'll probably get the boot images. 
for the most part what I like to use and I've shown this off in my other videos as well what I like to use for a majority of my boot images is just the title screen and for the icon the title screen they work great you can look up pictures from Google so I'm just going to click yes here and one important thing to know is now it's going to ask for an any file an any file is basically what configures the N64 game for the most part if the game that you have is popular there will be one that's already pre-configured essentially in the any creator you can mess around with a bunch of these settings some games i know require the expansion packs so you're probably going to want that i think a majority of this stuff should be fine if you just leave it on auto but most popular games such as you know the mario parties and Kirby 64, Excite Byte 64, all of those sort of games, they'll come with these already created, so you won't have to worry too much. If you have any questions regarding this, again, you feel free to leave them in the comments. Other than that, you can also configure a gamepad image, which would be a separate image on your gamepad, a logo image, which you can also do, and a boot sound. I personally don't like configuring these, I just like them to blend in with the other games that I've downloaded from the eShop, but you can definitely add these in. I think the boot sounds kind of cool, but for the most part I just like leaving things as a base. And finally you're going to want to enter in the game name. One thing I kind of forgot to mention up here by the way, is you're going to want to make sure the game is a uh, .nc4 game, because it does give you a warning before you select one, that if you don't have one that's a .nc4, you might have issues. And after you got all your settings the way you like them to be, click on inject. And then you want to export this as a WUP installable, since we'll be installing it with WUP installer GX2. And once the injection is complete, you're going to want to click on open folder. Simply copy the inject from here and paste it in the install folder on your SD card. After that, I will see you guys over on my Wii U. Alrighty, so over on your Wii, you're going to want to launch WUP Installer GX2. And then you're going to want to click on the WUP Install Package, click Install, click Yes. Install it to your USB. You want to put it on your NAND. Do this first, and then put it to your NAND, just in case the install fails. But that usually doesn't happen since this game is pretty small, and the larger the game, the bigger like the chance of the install crashing but after that you're going to want to exit out and you can simply launch your game from your Wii U home screen and as you can see the game works as intended so my preferred like controller for NC4 games is the Wii U Pro Controller. However, you can use the gamepad. One thing you can do on N64 games is you can remap the buttons. As you can see in controller settings, you can remap your buttons if you'd like to. But yeah, aside from that, everything should pretty much work as intended. Thank you for watching this guide. If it helped you out, make sure to like and subscribe. Currently in my YouTube analytics, it's still showing up as like 98% people who aren't subscribed. So make sure to do that. Also, make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. I really like interacting with you guys down in the comments. And make sure to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash datazemnus. I'm live at 7pm EST from Thursdays to Sundays, and I mostly stream Kingdom Hearts speedruns and Nintendo games, so make sure to check that out. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys all later.